name Jesus amen Jesus happy Memorial Day my friends it is great to gather and to worship and to sing praises to our Lord and as we begin our worship time there's a video that we selected um, that just reminds us as Bill said of those who have paid the price those who have given all
You know, I was thinking um, Memorial Day is so much about these colors. So much about the men and the women, the families <laughs> that have given all. All so we can gather, all so we can worship, all so we can praise the Lord. Um, I lost two uncles in World War II. I lost friends in Iraq and Iran. I've been blessed to have many of my brothers and sisters and friends serve in our armed forces. They are necessary because we live in a world that is broken. They are necessary because we live in a world that thrives on hatred, greed, lust, power. Where the weak are persecuted and where the strong devour. But as we remember the flag and those who celebrated, I can also not remember these colors. Because you see, it's our Lord who guides us through all pain, all sadness, all suffering. It's our Lord whose spirit and power overcome evil and darkness. It's our Lord who is the healer and the restorer of truth and light. I want to begin this morning in the book of Isaiah in chapter 6. It was the year of king, that the king, king Uzziah died that I saw the Lord. I was sitting on a lofty throne, and the train of his robe filled the temple. Attending him were the mighty seraphim, each having six wings. With two wings they covered their faces, with two they covered their feet, and with two they flew. They were calling out to each other, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of heaven's armies, for the whole earth is filled with his glory. Their voices shook the temple to its foundations, and the entire building was filled with smoke. Then I said to myself, it is all over, for I am doomed, for I am a sinful man. I have filthy lips, and I live among people with filthy lips. Yet, have, yet I have seen the King, the Lord of heaven's armies. Then one of the seraphim flew to me, with a burning coal that he had taken from the altar with a pair of tongs. And he touched my lip with it and said, See, this coal has touched your lips. Now your guilt is removed and your sins are forgiven. Then I heard the Lord asking, Whom shall I send as a messenger to my people? Who will go for us? And I replied, Here I am, Lord. Send me. Send me. The men and the women and the families that we remember today said, Here I am. Send me. I will defend this country. I will defend the flag. I will defend its government. I will defend its people. No matter what the cost. In Isaiah's message here, God is looking for men and women and children and families to say, here I am, Lord. Send me. Send me to serve, to protect, to teach, to preach, to love, to comfort, to feed, to heal, to nurture. Send me to tell the world that Jesus is alive. Whom shall I send? says the Lord, send me, say his people. Amen. Amen. In the book of John, chapter 3, this was written, there was a man named Nicodemus, 
a Jewish religious leader who was a Pharisee. After one dark evening, he came to speak with Jesus and said, Rabbi, we all know that God has sent you to teach us. Your miraculous signs are evidence that God is with you. Jesus replied, I tell you the truth. Unless you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. What do you mean, exclaimed Nicodemus? How can an old man go back into his mother's womb and be born again? And Jesus replied, I assure you, no one can enter the kingdom of heaven without being born of water and of spirit. Humans can reproduce only human life, but the Holy Spirit gives birth to spiritual life. So don't be surprised when I say to you, you must be born again, for the wind blows wherever it wants, just as you can hear the wind, but you cannot tell from where it comes, from where it is going. So you can't explain, so, so you can't explain how people are born in the Spirit. How are these possible, asked Nicodemus. And Jesus replied, well, you are a respected Jewish teacher. Yet you don't understand these things. I assure you, we tell you what we know and have seen, and yet you won't believe our testimony. But if you don't believe me when I tell you about earthly things, how can you possibly believe it if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has ever gone to heaven and returned but the Son of Man, and he has come down from heaven. As Moses lifted up the bronze snake on a pole in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in Him will have eternal life. For this is how God loved the world. He gave His one and only Son so that everyone who believes in Him will not perish, but have eternal life. God sent His Son into the world not to judge it, but to save it. Through him. There are some key points here in this passage that I want to make sure we understand. In the beginning, Jesus says, I tell you the truth, you must be born again. That's the knowledge of knowing him as Lord and Savior and not teacher and prophet. The, the, many of the Jews and many of the people of Christ's time thought he was a great messenger, thought he was a prophet enlightened by God, yet couldn't see him as the Son of God, the Messiah and the Savior of the world. We know better in 2021 because he is risen. Amen? Oh, that's a late test. That's a May 30th test. Yes, because he is risen, we know that Jesus was more than a prophet, was more than a messenger, but is the Messiah and Savior of the world, and who has come to, in, to, to bless us with his Spirit, so that we can see through the smoke, and we can see through the darkness, and we can walk through the fire with the blessed assurance, assurance of knowing we're not alone, that we don't walk it by ourselves, But the Son of Man came down from heaven, thus being the Savior and the Messiah. This is how God loved the world, because He first loved me. Do you know who I am, says Christ? He is God in the flesh. He is God eternal. He is the sacrificed God. He is the God who was willing to be dead and buried. But He is the God who was resurrected. Amen? He is the God who lives today. He is alive. He is risen. And He is here. Amen? He is here. When you sang, How Great Thou Art, He was here. Could you hear it? Could you feel it? There was a, a building momentum of faith, a building momentum of, of, of excitement and passion. It filled my heart. It soothed my soul. So when God says, whom shall I send, how do we reply? Send me. Send me. No matter, <laughs> no matter where it would be. No matter what the outcome, 
God is with us to the end of ages in their darkest times, in our most painful moments. It is then I am with you. It is then I carry you. In Romans, 8, uh, in Romans chapter 8, verse 12, he said, Brothers and sisters, you have no obligation to do what your sinful nature urges you. You know why? Because we know who he is. He is Jesus. He is the Christ. He is the Savior. He is the Messiah. He is our Lord. You have no obligation to do what your sinful nature urges you, for if you live by it, it dictates you will die. But through the power of the Spirit, you put to death the deeds of your sinful nature, so you will live. For all who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. <laughs> it's good news that I'm a child. There's mornings I... In evenings, I feel like an old man. The joints don't move, or if they do, they scream like heck. I forget a lot more than I used to, don't I, honey? Yes. I... Hi. Yeah. Almost didn't know who that was. No. But, but when God is with me, I'm his child. I'm his child. I'm his, I'm his special you know, we celebrated the, 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 the birth of a baby that's coming. There were actually two pregnant ladies at the shower yesterday. One due this coming month in June, and, and, and her, and her sister-in-law due in July. July 2nd, by the way, Miss Keegan's coming. Yes. Got that marked on the calendar so I don't forget. But... For all who are led by God's Spirit are children of God. So you've not received the Spirit to make you fearful slaves, and you re you've received God's Spirit when He adopted you as His children so that you can call Him Abba and Father. For the Spirit joins with our spirit to affirm that we are God's children so that we can sing and so that we can praise, so that we can love, so that we can heal, so that we can remember, and so that we can celebrate. God's presence in all things. And since we are His children, we are His heirs. Oh, there's the good news. In fact, together with Christ, we are heirs of God's glory. But if we share in His glory, we must also share in His suffering. That video portrayed a lot of suffering. A lot of pain. A lot of sadness. Weeping and gnashing may last through the night, but joy comes in the morning. People help people heal. People help people remember and celebrate our life's journey. Who do I follow? I follow Jesus. For I am a child of God. Send me, Lord, I say, and I will stand in the light of Christ that is truth and in love. Truth and justice, peace and justice Sunday seems so wonderfully yoked to Memorial Day because it calls us to look at the things that still must be fixed, that still must be healed. But there's a time and there's a place and there's an opportunity in all of our hearts to shine for Jesus, to love like Jesus, to care like Jesus. For we are a child of God, adopted into His royalty, forever blessed and welcomed into His kingdom. That's the love of Christ. 
that brings us here, that guides us through darkness and ushers us into the light everlasting. The company of saints. The land known as paradise where Christ awaits us all. Let us celebrate today and tomorrow and every day because Jesus is alive. Because Jesus is with us. Because Jesus is in us. Amen? Amen. Let's close our worship this morning with another good hymn, For the Beauty of the Earth. about you guys but it's sure nice to hear voices those masks just don't do praise justice but i can hear you and that's a good thing i leave you with these words that are written in the book of psalm chapter 19 
May the words of our mouth and the meditations of our heart be pleasing to you, Lord. For you are our rock and our redeemer. For I will call upon the Lord, and I will call him by his name. Jesus, Emmanuel, Christ, Savior, Messiah, Master, Son of God, Son of Man. Lord of lords and King of kings, Alpha and Omega, bread of life, great I am, shepherd, wonderful counselor, holy one, Lamb of God, Prince of peace, the truth, the light, and the way. All these things point to one thing, simply Jesus. May Jesus be the word of we never forget to speak and to share with the world around us. Go in his peace and love. Happy Memorial Day. Amen.